Hi, everybody. This is Marilyn. Um, do we have any audio on this? Yes, thanks, Lou. Uh, welcome to my world. This is my view from my world, the noon edition on the 10th of November. And um, I'm having all kinds of technical stuff this morning. So, and, and I, um, we had a lot of issues with Hotcom this morning, so my charts have not been up. They normally are. However, I thought I'd just um, take a couple of minutes to kind of um, make sure that everybody's aware in an hour is the 10-year um, bond auction. So if you are a bond or note trader, this is a, these are the 10-year notes. And so the symbol, if uh, you trade those in futures or you're interested in watching any response, um, is ZN. Sometimes in the room people are posting ZB charts, and that's for the 30-year bonds. ZN is for the 10-year notes. It looks like all the indices all morning, they uh, slipped down a little bit overnight, and then all morning they've been in a, kind of a tight range and I know it's really difficult to trade that kind of stuff because you don't really know when the paint's going to get dry and it can take forever. Gold had a nice move down this morning and then it's come back up off of uh, off of a support level about 1084 and I hope some people were paying attention to the um, the Aussie today because boy it really uh, it took a downhill move with the dollar going up so if you trade that pair or if you do the spreads on Nadex that sure would have been a nice trade this morning we've got um, the VIX has backed off of 17 just a hair right now it's trading 16 0.18 and um, everybody's just kind of holding their breath I think to see what's going to happen uh, crude oil started down and it it drifted down overnight and then the news hit this morning um, this is one of the reasons that I keep saying if you're going to trade crude oil you've got to pay attention to uh, the international news, but the French uh, took out some uh, oil facilities in Syria, and it looks like now the Pentagon is uh, authorized a little more of that. And all I know is that Comrade Vlad would certainly like to see the price of oil go up. So this is something you you never know when something like this will um hit the news and it can it can really cause these uh energy markets to move so we'll see if they continue that or if that spreads over into other facilities or what they're doing but um the middle east is uh getting a little more volatile and they are a little more serious about cutting off the money I think for this uh, bunch of nutcases over there so anyway um, that's about all I I see uh, whoops everything went black that's making me very nervous when that happens uh, Tomorrow, if you're trading crude oil, tomorrow morning at 10.30 is the um, inventory report. So we try to, we try to especially uh, pay attention to what it, trades might be available there. Anyway, um, if I can get this, all this technology stuff put back together again, then I'll have my charts up, I'm sure, by tomorrow. I'm sure by tomorrow. Anyway, this has been um, my view from my world.
and Apex Land, brought to you by Apex Investing. I'll see you at 2.30, unless I haven't been able to get my charts and things back up again, then I'll just probably wait until tomorrow morning. All right? So thanks. Mm -hmm.